All right, for the sake of today's video, we're going to be talking about how to market a new listing. And this is for real estate. And I needed to make one of these for um, one of my coaching clients just to make sure they had a modern version. And um, I realized I didn't really have anything that was super recent on marketing a listing. And uh, we're going to go through the step by step of this today. And what I really want to make sure that you're aware of is there's not a one way, right way to do this. Okay. And you'll notice when you watch my videos that, um, that I'll change some things, you know, over time, I will play with some things and, and test and measure. And this one works better than this one did and things like that. But the concepts don't change. And what we're working on today primarily is when somebody pulls up in front of our listing and they Google our, the listing address, typically what they're going to find is Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, whoever the local authorities are in that market. And the real estate agent doesn't get the, um, the traffic anymore from their listings. And so what I teach is how to put yourself in the best position to get some of those leads back, to get some of that traffic back. And then also how to market that listing, obviously using um, strategies such as keyword marketing over time so that you also get people searching for a, a home by feature or home by area or home by price that also find your listing. So let's go through some of the best practices of this today. And remember that, um, you know, you can be creative and if you want to use templates, that's fine too. But I'm going to show you a real basic way on how to create this from scratch. So every time you get a real estate listing, this is what you would do. Okay. My particular case, I'm going to work on WordPress today. Um, my marketing company, Ballon Brands, does build real estate websites. And so if you do need a real estate website that is powered by WordPress with an unlimited lock, unlocked version, so you're able to add unlimited pages and plugins and codes and whatnot, and you own the, um, you're going to own your own domain name and the data and the database, um, contact us there. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through how to do this today. If you don't have WordPress, you're going to do this on whatever website you have, okay, in creating either a blog post or a page on your website. Now, I've got a listing here I'm going to use as an example, okay? The most important thing here is um, that you start off the first time you market this listing, marketing it by address. We're going to focus on the address. And there's some basic principles in search engine optimization um, that we'll go over that that keyword phrase is going to be important. Okay, keyword market keyword uh, targeting has changed over the years with SEO, but there's a still there's still a few strategic placements that we put the primary keyword that we want to optimize the page for, and uh, I'm going to show you where those are today. So for the first time we market this listing, we're going to do it by address. Okay, now a week later, if you want to, or a few days later, you can make a new post. And instead of titling it by address, you're going to title it by home feature or price or area. And you're going to use a different picture and a little bit of a different description. And you're going to try to get as many potential buyers um, and, and website traffic for that listing as possible. But right at first, we're going to do the address. So I'm going to take this address here. Now, in my case, the listing has already been entered. So I'm going off of a new li of a listing today that I already have entered. So I'm going to be able to copy and paste some things. Um, if you're entering this for the first time, obviously you'll have to type this stuff by scratch, but in my case, it's going to be much faster to show you the video doing it this way. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is title it by address. Okay. Um, now the URL here, you see on my WordPress, it automatically gives, um, this, this is the slug, the, the keywords that come after the slash there, it automatically puts the listing in. So I just want to check it 3572 Tobal Springs. Drive Las Vegas, Nevada. Now I want this just to be the NV. And that was my mistake because I just realized the reason why I like to abbreviate the initials, just so you know, is um, Google has auto suggest where when you start typing something in, it makes a suggestion and it uses the initials. And um, same with Drive. In fact, let's see if I can show you. If I start to type in onto Google, oops, right here, um, 3572. Oh, I just saw it. 72 Tobel Springs Drive. See it? Tobel Springs Drive, Las Vegas. Yeah, I'm not getting the whole. It's on here. It's, um, let me see something here. Let's see if I can get it to open on the, 
let me try here, 3572 Tobol Springs. See how to abbreviate the drive. Loss, see how to abbreviate the initial. And so the closer I can get my listing here, the closer I'm going to get it to match. And see here, you can see Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, Realtor.com, Estately, Easy Street, okay? And most of these, even if like you're with Keller Williams agent and KW comes up, it's the it's going to be the brokerage site. So you're not going to have uh, the ability to go in and customize those quite the same as, as what I'm showing you today. So you want to be ranking on page one, okay? So let's take that. And... Um, and sometimes I'll put up top, I'll put a little, I'll, I'll put my contact information um, for more information on 3572 Tobol Springs Drive, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89029. Call Lori Fallon and Associates at 702-604-7739. Okay. Now, what we want next is a picture of the property. Okay. Now I like to put one picture in and then I like to force registration at the photo gallery. Now I haven't always done this. So if you watch some of my old videos, it'll, I'll, I'm showing you how to add an offer instead. I didn't used to have IDX broker and I have IDX broker now, which is my, um, IDX provider. It's, it's who, who, who feeds, takes the listing syndication feed and puts properties on my website. Right. Um, it has a, it has the ability to give me a link where I can force at the photo gallery and based on everything I've tested and measured, um, I like the, I like to allow the visitor to browse as much as they want, look at detail pages as much as they want, results and maps as much as they want. But when they click on the photos, I want them to register for the photo gallery. And I, I like, I like how that works based on my testing and measuring. And so um, if you don't have the ability to do that, there's going to be a couple different things you can do. Now, the mistake that most agents make is that they put all the photos on the page or a bunch of them. And if you put all the photos on the page, you do a couple of things. One, you might alienate the buyer because there might be something, there might be a photo there that isn't what they want. You know, it's, it, you show too many pictures and it gives them the option to find something wrong with it. Um, another thing is that if you give a, if you give them everything, why do they want to register? Especially if you're running pay-per-click around this stuff, um, or, you know, you're really trying to generate leads, not just traffic to the listing. You want to, you want to have your registration be connected with something that the user would deem valuable. And that's what the photos do. So I'm going to include one picture here. Okay. So in my case, I'm going to go right here to add media and I already have my picture of, um, I already have my picture in here, but if I didn't, you would upload it here and, um, except I'm forgetting which one it is. Let me see. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to do a picture of the kitchen. Okay. Um, in my particular, in my opinion, um, the kitchen, te te <laughs> that refrigerator looks bad. Hold on. Let me do the other one instead. I just noticed it looks like somebody cleaned the fridge. Um, and it was a little smeary. Okay. That's beautiful. Okay. Um, in my experience, the inside of the house, something that calls attention to a beautiful room or a pool or something like that tends to be the best. If, if it's a gorgeous exterior house, you might want to use an exterior picture, but here in Vegas, our outside of our houses all kind of look the same for the, for in this price range, especially. And so, um, I'm going to use the best picture of the inside that I can find. And in this case, it's going to be this picture. Okay. Now this is, this is where, um, I'm going to put a little, um, I'm going to put, uh, this information here right next to that picture. So I'm going to kind of go right tap after the picture there and I'm going to add this text. So all I did just now is I clicked after the picture and I control paste. Okay. Now I'm going to make this picture smaller by dragging it down there. Okay. And then I'm going to put, um, a description of the property, or I could take something else from this page that I want to put there. And in this case, let's go ahead and try the description of the property. Yeah, I think this is the way I'm going to do it. Okay. Um, 
So the other way to do this, uh, another way to do this after you put the little description is, is also to do bullet points and put additional information about the house. Um, things like this here. So maybe I'll do something like this. I'm going to copy and paste this I, these items from the IDX broker feed, and I'm going to paste them here. And so I could put, I could do it with no bullet points. See how those don't have bullet points? Or I can add a bullet point by doing this. Area 405, and there's the address, city, okay. Um, days on market, I'm not going to do that because that won't update. Um, and then I could include maybe the ratio square foot price. There's no neighborhood, so that's not important to anybody. Um, but there is a subdivision. We have subdivisions here in Vegas. They're not going to care about the subdivision number, but they might care that it's in Clark County. Okay. General property information. It's got four bedrooms. And again, if I want a bullet point, it was built in 1994. It's got a two guard garage. It's got a pool. It's got a couple thousand square feet. There's the lot size. Now, I don't include anything that's a negative. Like, why do I want to tell them it's not a gated community? I don't need to put that in there, okay? Um, so there's an example. Now, if I wanted to put more, okay, the fireplaces, I like that one. I'm going to leave that one in there because that's a plus. Fireplaces, okay? Um, maybe I'll keep that flooring description in there. All right, dual pane windows, that's a plus. I'll go ahead and keep that in there. It's not a 55 plus community, and I'm gonna leave Mountain Views. I think that's good. Okay, quick little description, bullet points there. Now, um, what's important um, in search engine optimization is um, your keyword phrase in your title tag, which we have here. And if you're using Yoast, the plugin, and you scroll down, this here is your title tag. And you can actually change that by clicking here and putting whatever you want there, okay, in the, in the um, Las Vegas home for sale. Uh, something like that, okay. But the keyword's already in there. Our keyword is 3572 Tobal Springs DR, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89129. I want to make sure that's in there, okay. And there's the slug. This is what came after the slash. And you saw it up here. This is what came after the slash right up here. So this Yoast plugin just gives you the ability to change this and optimize it. And then the meta description, I'm going to put something like ex um, exclusively listed by Lori Ballon. Now, in this particular case, by the way, I'm not going to publish this page. Um, I'm working with a partner here in Vegas, so it's technically exclusively listed in his name. Um, I generated the lead for the listing. He took the listing paperwork, so um, obviously I would put his name in here as well. But let's just, just so I can show you this, exclusively listed by, you would put your name. Um, and the reason we're doing this is because if your listing appears and they see Zillow and they see, let me show you where this shows up. Right here, if somebody were to type in 3572 Tobal Springs, you see this is the title tag. This is the title tag we're typing in right here. This is your snippet. This is the little snippet, and that's being formed by this meta description. So people are going to see this when they type in here, okay? So if there's anything you can do to stand out in your meta description, it's a good idea to do that, okay? exclusively listed by Lori Bounds at Keller Williams, um, 3572 Tobal Springs. You always want to repeat the keyword in the meta description, so then it'll be bold. See here? Um, see how this is bold? Because that matches what I typed in up here. So if somebody was Googling that address, if it's bold, it'll show up there in the meta tag. That's why we use bold. That's why we use the keyword again in the meta tag. Exclusively listed by Lori Ballin, 3572 Tobal Springs is a four-bedroom home with a pool. Um, is a stunning four-bedroom home with a pool. Check out all of the details here. Um, 
And maybe here, I'm going to put something like this. I want to stand out. Exclusive. Exclusive just sounds like you have something that nobody else does. You have information nobody else does. And if you are the exclusive listing agent, oh my gosh, you got to take advantage of that. Okay. Um, so play with your words. Play with what play with what sounds good featured, exclusive, listed by, you know, but I love that word exclusive. Um, check out all the details here, picks and more, something like that. Okay. And then you'll notice like with Yoast, if I keep typing, it turns red because I'm typing too many characters. So you want to stay within that green right there. All right. And then um, I don't use Yoast to optimize, to turn green and all that, because I don't necessarily believe um, those were really the proper signals in 2017, going into 2017. But I do like some of the new things that they're, they're adding some updates recently. Okay. So we've got the price of the home. And if I want to, I could bold and italics. I've got the, the basic features here and then a little description. And then I've got information about the home. Okay. Now, what I want to do is put in that address in a title tag, like in a, in a heading tag. I'm sorry, H1, H2, H3. These heading tags are, um, are still search engine ranking signals, even though they're not um, as strong as they once were. They still are best practices. So I might put something like this about 3752 Tobel Springs. And I'm going to put that in an H2 tag by going like this. I'm just going to drop this down H2 and see how it makes it bold like that and bigger. Now down here, I could put features of 3572 Tobel Springs. And maybe I want to this time spell out drive and this one I'll spell out Nevada. Okay. And I'm going to make those, make that a heading too. Okay. Then down here, I'm going to do this. Homes for sale similar to 3572 Tobel Springs. I'm going to make that a head, heading too. Okay. Now, what you want to do here is you want to put in um, similar listings because what will happen is if you don't do that and the buyer doesn't like this house for any reason, you lose the lead. You want them clicking around and staying on your website, okay? So in my case, I use IDX Broker. So this is very simple for me. All I have to do is go over here, go to Widgets, Create Widgets. And by the way, if you want to look at IDX Broker as a possible solution for your real estate business, one, you can call us at Ballon Brands and we can build you a real estate website that is powered by IDX Broker and we can handle all your integration and everything for you and get it all set up. Um, if you're going to do it on your own, you actually can use my link and you save $99 on the setup. And we, my marketing company at Ballon Brands, become your support system. We are IDX Broker developers. And you can find that link over at lauriestools.com or inside the um, description of this video. Okay. So I'm going to go here, uh, showcase, custom search, advanced search. And I've got videos on how to use all this. Okay. Now I'm going to choose to only show single family homes because these are going to be similar to the Tobel Springs. Only homes that are in active status. And I'm going to do only homes that are in Las Vegas that are four bedroom that are under 300,000 and that are over 2,000 square feet. And that have an image and I'm going to do that have a pool because this one has a pool. Now let's see how many homes came up that match that. I'm going to click view results in new window. And there's 95 homes, which is way too many. I want to look at how many are at 300. Wow, we have quite a bit at 300. Okay, so um, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, okay, so these are homes like Tobel Springs, and I'm going to I'm going to showcase them highest to lowest in this case because we know Tobel Springs is 300,000, so I want to have all my $300,000 homes show up first. And we're only going to show eight properties and then there's a, a link they can click to view the rest. So it'll only be homes in that price range to show up on the page. So we're going to do a four column widget and we're going to only show eight listings. And then we're going to display all results. And I'll show you what this looks like. So I'm going to come over here. 
And to paste that widget in, all I have to do is go to text, scroll down to the bottom, and paste it right there at the bottom. Then go back to the visual tab, and I can see the box right here, and I know that it it's working. And I'll show you what it looks like, just so you can see now. I'm going to click preview. And if we scroll down, there is my four columns. See, one, two, three, four columns, eight properties, all like Tobal Springs. That's funny. I think I used to live in that house. That is just trippy because we installed that gate. Now, I, well, gosh, that's, that's really crazy. Okay. I didn't realize it was in that same neighborhood. Um, in that same general area. Okay, so there is those, and then view all results. Okay, and um, what you see here, by the way, I have a little plugin that takes all my H1 tags and makes them, or H tags, and makes them anchors up top. And so this little table of contents here, you won't see on your on your screen unless you had that set, unless that's set, set in there. Okay, um, so and I'm kind of playing with some things on that right now because there's some. I want to see if I can get some site extensions on the search engine results pages by using some anchor tags, but that's a whole nother class. Okay, so next, um, let me take a look. Now we need our forced registration. So now we need something that here that gets them to register for more information. Now this is really cool, watch this. On IDX Broker, I can take these links that are already here and I can click any of these that I want. Let's start with Photo Gallery. Uh, Actually, let's just do the photo gallery first. So I can go like this, copy, and right under this picture, or wherever I want this, I'll put it down here, paste. Now I have a view photo gallery. Now, this is in bolt heading two because it's picking up this heading tag here, but I can change that, and I can make it just regular. I can underline it. You know, all these little things here, bold, underline, I can make it a different size, make it heading five. Actually, let me make this a, um, or make it a heading two, it'll show up up top in the table of contents, okay? And in my case, I have this little button option where I can add a button too, but let's take a look at what that looks like now. So let's preview it. I like it. Yeah, that's messy though. I like it in the top, but I don't like it there. That's interesting. Um, I might have to play with that. I think I'm, let me see if I make it a button, what it does. See, like I said, there's no exact science. Feel free to play around with this a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting that darn asterisk right there. Okay, there. Hmm. I don't like what that plugin is doing with that asterisk. Okay, so maybe I will just make this one a regular, non-heading tag. Okay, now here's where it's really important. What you do is you click on that photo gallery, you right click on it, right click, copy link address, click on the image and click edit then paste that link right here link to custom url paste now what we're going to do is when they click on that image now it'll do the forced photo gallery okay i also want to give this um, um a picture title so this is 37 3572 tobel kitchen and down here i'm going to say um picture of the kitchen inside 3572 Tobel Springs, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89129. And click update. Okay, now watch. Let's go to preview. I know this seems like a lot of steps, but when you get used to it, it's really quite fast, okay? So now you really have everything you need on the page. Click here and it forces them to register. So this is if you have um, IDX Broker, okay? Now you can do whatever you want here. You could put in, you know, you could put in the schools. You can put in more information about the property, the, the neighborhood. You can put 
whatever you want, okay? Me, I want them clicking through registering as quickly as possible. You can also add like more info um, buttons and things. Now on IDX Broker, I'm just gonna take these like this and I'm gonna put them down here. And all I'm gonna do is paste and there's those, there they, the buttons show up. And I can take the bullet points off if I wanted to. Okay, so maybe I just wanna have more info there. And I wanna have, um, yeah, maybe I wanna make that one a bold. Okay, and now the other ones, they can just click around and look at it, okay? So I've got a few, I've got the photo gallery they can register at, I've got more info, I've got schedules showing, mortgage calculator. And if you wanted to make one of these buttons, all you have to do here is just type in schedule showing, hover over, click link, and then you've got to send them somewhere. So you've got to have a form or a page or something to send them to, okay? Um, one option is Wufoo, W-U-F-O-O, -O, Wufoo has forms and you can create a form and you can set an autoresponder and send them information about the property or send a follow-up email to schedule a, a date or time. You could use listings to leads, which I love. And if you use my link, you get an extended free trial and that's at listingstoleads.com slash Balin. And what you can do with listings to leads actually is um, they'll take all your listings, they feed them in automatically from your syndication feed and then it automatically creates an information page. It creates a single property landing page and it creates a listing landing page. Well, the listing landing page is just a simple form and you could use that link on this page and then they have somewhere to register, okay? Um, if you have Infusionsoft or MailChimp or, or you know any of those types of things where you can build a form, you can put a form in here. So don't be limited by trying to do things exactly like I do them because I've got certain software you may not have, and I've done this with everything. Let's just say you have you don't have IDX Broker down here to show this little listing, okay? Let's say you are using Playster. So let's go over to my Playster site, okay? And without even logging in to the back end, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Advanced Search, and we're gonna say, show us all homes that are under 300,000, Whoops, 300,000. Oh, come on. 300,000 that are in Las Vegas um, that have at least four bedrooms that are single family homes. Okay, um, I would really want the pool in there. So. That part bothers me. I'd have to be able to see, to be able to put a pool in there. But let's just say we've got that. All you do is take this URL now, and at the bottom, you would put see home similar to, and you would actually just put a link there. Okay? Now, when somebody clicked on that, it's not as fancy as your little grid of boxes, but it it somebody clicked on it, they can get to a thing of homes. Okay? If you've got market leader, it would work the same way. So if you can build a link in the back, great. If you can't, you know, if you could put in the grid, um, that's a better way to do it, but at least show some similar listings there, okay? And um, that's really it. That's really, oh, you know, there's one other, one other thing, a Google map. If you can, let me click on this map. When you type in the address to the listing in Google, it'll give you a map. And all you have to do here is click share, embed map. You take this code right here, this little iframe, and you go back and you turn this, you click on the text tab, and at the very bottom, you paste in the Google map. And let me show you what that does. What that does is it allows the consumer now to click on the map and see where it's located, and they like to play around with that. Plus, um, it's, it's, it's rumored to be a positive, um, a, a positive thing to put on your page for SEO as well, because now we're linking that map to this page. We're not really linking the map to the page, but we're putting the, the map on the page. So there could be a correlation there and it, it's a best practice put it on there. But let me tell you something. If you don't have a great host who's hosting your website, that map will kill your page speed and your page needs to load in three seconds or less. I use a tool called Pingdom right here, Pingdom. And all you do is you take Pingdom and you put the URL to that page to whatever your Tobal, like this one here, let's just say that's our Tobal, 
and we put it in here and we'll say, okay, let's pick some place kind of close to me, Dallas, Texas. I'm in Vegas. And so obviously you don't want to test Sweden. So let's at least get some place that's on the on the on a coast near me, even if it's not on the same coast. And what you're able to see here is that one loaded in 1.63 seconds, right here. 1.363 seconds. That's good. So test it, and then if you put the map on it, test it again. If that map kills your page speed, don't include it, okay? And then call my company about hosting because you're, you might want to get with a, um, a better host if you're, um, or get, get, a, get, a, get your website on your own server or something to get some more, to get it loading faster, okay? So that's really all there is today for um, the actual steps of creating the listing posts and um, this is important that you do this on every single listing. So if you need help with this, you need help with your marketing, you want to learn more or take training for us from us, check us out at balanbrands.com.